really been looking forward to getting a look at this thing right here. It was across the uh, dunes there, and they just pulled over. That is one impressive rig. Two massive fuel tanks set up for camping on the inside. Big 14R20 tires. Going around the world. We only live once. Our way of life. Pretty cool. St. Martin. I'm Brandon Holstein with the Speed Merchant, and we're out here in Utah Motorsports Campus at the very first Bagger Racing League event. We've been uh, partnering with Motul now for quite a few years. I would say about five years now. We don't use any other oiling products at all. And I'll tell you why. One of the biggest reasons is uh, that 131-inch motor that we've been beating up. I mean, for the past, since last year when we were in Laguna Seca. The months leading up to it, tuning it, dynoing it, we beat the hell out of it. And that thing is still together, you know. I, we credit Motul because we, we literally are pretty religious about changing the oil in it. Every time we come back from a race, it's getting maintenance, so, yeah. Look at these giant Michelin 40-inch military tires. Air intake up high. Mercedes-Benz. Oh, this has got to be this has got to be a three hundred to five hundred thousand dollar rig. I'm not sure what these go for, but look at the bumper on this thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. Beautiful. Hella lights. The front bumper on this thing's gnarly. Huge worn winch under there. Big Mercedes diesel with the air intake way up high, so you can ford water. This will probably go through four feet of water, no problem. This is the kind of rig you, you take across. The Lost Quarter, 250,000 square acres of dunes. It's amazing how fast these things can go, too. They got videos of these catching air over the dunes. Oh, right, here comes one of the competitors. Now, at the Motul Dakar Rally Raid 2023. These guys are flying. Absolutely flying. Would you look at that? Wow. Had lunch here at the uh, Motul concession area there. Is this your truck? Yeah. It's absolutely... I, I filmed you a little bit because it was funny the way you were... Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Of What uh, what year is it? Is it brand new or...? Yeah, it's, well, it's, new. it's a year, one year and a half. 2021? Yeah. Uh, I think the truck is 2020. But yeah. So where are you going? Are you going across the... the uh, desert with it also yeah we did uh, already it says around the world on the side are you guys taking an around the world trip yeah. oh that's awesome we started in march he likes, he likes, he likes, he likes can i can i interview you can you hold this mic you go so i can hear you so so you're traveling around the world yes that's what we are doing that's fantastic yeah. where'd you start we started uh, in saint martin where we came from the island in the Caribbean. It's beautiful. I've been there before. Yeah. Okay. I've been to St. Croix and St. Martin. All right. Can we walk this way? Because we're okay. kind of So tell me a little bit about what, what inspired you to take a, a trip around the world. Well, that's been something we've been thinking about for a long time, obviously. And um, at a certain point, we were ready to go. And then St. Martin was hit by a big hurricane, Hurricane okay. Irma. I don't okay. know if you remember that. Yes, we yes. We had to postpone. Then the COVID came. We had yes. to postpone again. And now uh, we were ready to go, nothing was holding us back. So in March uh, 2022, we started, yeah. Is this your first uh, adventure? It's an adventure vehicle, basically, yeah. right? Is this your first one, or did you build up to this and have other ones? No, no, ones? this is the first one like this. We used to travel with uh, uh, SUVs with roof tents on it, sure. like that. But... It's a big step up, isn't it? Yeah. It's absolutely fantastic. I saw you guys over on the dune over there, and I was like, geez, I hope they come over, because I'd love to get a video of this for our channel. Um, who, who does the conversion to the camper? What's the name of the company? The name of the company is Bliss Mobile. You can see it. It's written do, on the site. Do they have a uh, like a, a channel uh, or a website people yeah, can go on? Yeah, they do. I'm sure. Yeah. They are located in the Netherlands, in uh, the city of Breda. So I see all the arrows uh, on your map there. Is, it, is this your, your route that you're taking yeah, around no, the world? Yeah, no, that's a bit... Uh, it's just to show around the world, yeah, but yeah, we uh, don't yeah. stick to that. We make... Uh, we don't plan too much ahead. We look at the situation in the world and then uh, we base it on that. Like there are certain places where you cannot go at the moment. Hopefully we can do that at a later time. And uh, yeah, that's how we go. It's fantastic. Has it been... Have you ever had any problems? Do you get no. stuck anywhere? Or yeah. 
You got stuck in the sand? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in, uh, when we were in Europe, in Poland, two, two times, I think, and we were in Oman before, on the island okay. of Masira. There we were stuck big time for six days. Wow. Yeah. How'd you get stuck? In the dirt? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did someone sand. come and tow you out? Um, yeah, several uh, efforts were made, but no nothing worked. So in the end, we had to really dig and dig and dig. And I see you have a big yeah. winch on the front. Is that to tow yeah. yourself out if you yeah. get stuck? Yeah, but then you need a tree or something. And something in big the and deserts or on the beaches are not too many trees. I see the tires are huge. It looks like they could pretty much go over anything. They're, yeah. they're like four feet tall. Yeah. Have you gone through rivers, deep water? Yeah. What's the deepest water you've been through, you think? Well, we have a snorkel on the front, yeah. the other side. I saw that so we earlier. So we can do almost anything, huh? Yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Wow. So um, it's fully set up with uh, full living quarters on the inside. Yeah. You can take a shower, yeah. cook, sleep, everything. Everything. It's fantastic. Yeah. I even have a, a washing machine in there. That's oh, you got you got everything. <laughs> I got everything. What inspired you? Uh, again, what what what? what uh, and if anybody was looking to do this, follow in your footsteps. What what words of wisdom would you have from what you've learned well, so far? I would look at the Bliss Mobile website first. Okay. And see where they they start with the kind of a basic unit, yep. and then you can. They have so many options to make it, uh, especially to your, uh, the way you want it. Yep. And uh, take it from there, and those units they go on any truck. So we choose the Mercedes Cetros. You Some can't, you can't beat the Mercedes. It's no. first class, beautiful machine. That's true. And we like this one because it has a nose. You know, it's not flat on the front. How many kilometers per hour or miles per hour is the top? Oh, wow, look at this. Yeah, hey, <laughs> I think you this, should have this, that. This is the same. This is a truck like yours racing. Guys, this is the first racing truck we've seen. Look at this. Wow. Hey, you guys should be out there. Yeah, absolutely. Next maybe time. maybe next year you'll join the rally, you huh? You never know. You never know. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be quite yeah. an adventure. Yeah. That's fantastic. So how many miles have you put on our kilometers? How far have you gone so far? I think about 20,000. 20,000? Yeah, kilometers I'm talking. Yeah. How yeah. long is your adventure? Do you have a, a like a, a vision of how long you're going to go for? We like, have uh, five years time. Five years? Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. I'm going to give you my business card. And that's if you right. ever yeah. come to Connecticut, you guys have got a place you can stay. If you ever come to the United States. Okay. Look at this, guys. Wow. Yeah, now the action is starting. Oh, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. There's a lot of people up there. Oh, man. It came so close to hitting those people. Did you see that? He came within 50 feet of those people over there. Only in Dakar. Yes. Wow. So, hey, really cool. The, the, those trucks are just like your truck, and they're in the race. How cool is that? Is this, your, is this your truck? Yes, sir. It's fantastic. Uh, I, I'm a, Hi, a Hank. big fan of, of your truck there, Hank. You turn it off, right? I give... I'm good. Okay. Uh, that's great. It's a beast. So, Hank, yeah, can. real inspiration uh, seeing you and your wife doing this journey. Uh, five years is your plan? That is the plan, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's a, yeah, a ballpark figure, five years. The, the, the aim is to go around the world, visit actually all the countries in the world, but maybe that's a bit of a high end, but we try to visit most of the countries in the world. That is the plan. You always say you only live once. You might as well go out and go for it, right? Well, I mean, we, we, we say we only live once. We go together and I always say I'd rather say sorry for the things I didn't do, the things that I didn't do. So we do it. It's the lifetime. And you're still young enough to go out and enjoy it. You didn't wait until, a lot of people wait until they're too old. To I think I'm still young enough. Yes. Everything is working still, legs, arms, eyes, ears. So you do it now. You don't wait until you're 70 or 80 years old. Not with the kind of truck like this. Oh yeah. Because this is, it is a nice truck. It's a convenient truck, but the roads we take, well, you see those guys passing by, we go a little slower than them, but uh, you need you to- You can go anywhere with that truck, really. It, 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 well, we know we can even go like a submarine almost. It has a big snorkel on it. We can go deserts, we can go snow, uh, rivers. The idea is to go to places where regular camper trucks do not go. When did you start your journey? We started in uh, March uh, last year. That's the when we started uh, in Europe. Uh, we did the northern part of uh, Europe, we didn't do the southern part yet, uh, because we wanted to be here in the winter time of the Middle East. We didn't want to miss the Dakar rally, so we shipped it down from Belgium to Oman. We traveled to Oman, we traveled to Bahrain, we traveled to Qatar. Now we are back again in Saudi. 
Saudi is a big country, so we're going to spend some time over here as well. A lot to see here, isn't there? There is a lot to see. Are you going out to the, was it the lost quarter or the... Uh, yeah, we go to the empty quarter. Empty quarter, yeah. yeah. We did the, the Oman part already, which was really, really a beautiful part. You know, the, the high sand dunes, uh, what is it, about 1,200 feet uh, high sand dunes. It's amazing. You go right up to sand dunes like that? Like uh, well, you know, I, if you like shuffling... I don't like shuffling, so we try to go. Careful, yeah. <laughs> don't go. Have you gotten stuck uh, in the dunes? We have, well, we have been stuck a few times uh, already. There we go again. There's another competitor. Yeah, it's another competitor. No, no. I don't think he has a built-in barbecue. Did you see that truck? He almost, he almost made it to the people over there. It, they were it, all running away. He was going fast. He was Man. taking the break. We're standing there, eh? Yes, yes. It was very close, eh? <laughs> he, he came close to you? Uh, it all yes. We saw it. He was almost getting into the public. Here. I know. I know. People were running. I thought he was going to hit the cars yeah. over there. Thanks. So are you, here nice for, are you here for two weeks for the whole rally? We try to follow them, as, as if we can keep up uh, with yeah. them and uh, see uh, all the Are you going to the bivouac tonight where the party is? Uh, no, we don't go to the bivouac. Oh. We're going to take it easy, nice. I got the pass for the bivouac and go oh, interview like all man. the racers. You're lucky, you know? no. We're going to party with, us, with the two of us here and it's just in the, yeah. <laughs> in the desert. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I can't wait to go see all the... All the, the, the I'm, re I'm most interested in the big trucks because I see the motorcycle racing in the States all yeah. the time, yeah. but you don't see... They don't really do truck racing like this in, in the Actually, United yeah. States. To be honest much. with you, that's where my passion also is for this race, the trucks. Yeah. The yeah. trucks, it's amazing what uh, what they have become. In They're those... catching air over the dunes. I've seen the videos. They're jumping through the they, air. Like... They are like SUVs, but mega. I was watching one video. A guy was on a motorcycle in, in the in the race, doing about 45 miles an hour. A truck passed him, and they do 87 miles an hour. It's yes. wide open. Passed him like he was standing still, just flying. Those trucks, I know they even they put a speed limit on those trucks here. Otherwise, they will overtake the, the regular sports cars. Yeah, right? they're incredibly it, fast. It's, it's amazing. And uh, how they perform, especially now the Iveco trucks, I'm getting a little bit jealous because they look a little bit like mine. And I thought, well, there will be the same kind of truck Mercedes being part of it, it's all Iveco with this one of the show here with the trucks. They're, they're, they're winning. I'm sure the truck the trucks are aren't that they're racing are highly modified, not uh, production trucks, right? They're they're race trucks, right? I don't think you'll find you'll find them on Highway 95 or some main states. Yeah, so no, yeah, the I'm engines not. are all <laughs> super turbo turbocharged and everything else. Supercharged. Exactly, and then I think the highway patrol is going to be very busy over there. So if you had any uh, words of wisdom for someone who was thinking to follow, follow in your footsteps and do a journey like this with a rig like this, what would you say? What are the top five, three or four, five things? Well, the first thing is that, and actually that is quite logical, my, yeah, I must have a, a, a good vehicle. That is, that is the most important thing. We spend a lot of time researching what is the best vehicle for this. And also because of the time span, five years, you want to have a truck you can count on. And uh, we ended up, on this this uh, this truck when you do this you, you know that you're going to be on the panning on your own because you go to places where there's no many other houses no other places no services so you have to be able to be self-sufficient water electricity medicines a little bit of first aid first aid um that is very very important it's also psychologically you must be able to do this especially when you do this together you go you're on your own it's not always the sun shining. Sometimes things go wrong, but you have to solve it together. Uh, if you do the travel like this, you have to be able to do that together. Amen. So describe the truck a little bit. What kind of engine does it have? Big diesel one, right? It's a big diesel one, <laughs> yeah. It's, and it's four-wheel drive, obviously, right? Good, yeah. That's awesome. And uh, Bliss Mobile made the camper conversion? Yeah, yeah. Bliss Mobile is a company from the Netherlands. It's uh, That company is born out of passion for camper trucks. Um, the gentleman who started this company had a truck built for him, was not satisfied, and um, he said, well, I can do it better with all the experience I have. It's beautiful. Yeah. I, I could see from all the way over there that it was an awesome truck. And I, really, <laughs> I was so excited when I saw it. I got to go over and talk to him. We just did a, a sand dune uh, drive with the, uh, the Jeeps with, with our, one of our sponsors, so with Motul. Yeah. Uh, so we're here with Motul filming for them. Here we uh, go. Truck coming in. Here comes your dis yeah, that's, that's your cousin. That's my competition. <laughs> exactly. You guys should join the rally next year and do it. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Unbelievable. Here they come. That 
that is spectacular. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> Absolutely spec. How do you top that, huh? That is that is that is a hundred. That is a so hundred. It looks just, just like your truck. You got to go out there and show them how to do it. <laughs> can, can you imagine this happening in Nevada, Arizona, in it the should. desert? It should. Maybe you can start it I when think, you get there. I think that cars one day will come to I the United, so. United States. I'll be all over it. That's, that's see, my, my background. And see how how the GMCs, the Fords, the Freightliners, whatever brand you have, if they can compete. With these, I don't think so. <laughs> amazing European trucks. Yeah, these guys are these, these guys are, are top notch. They got a big uh, head start over the oh, over, yeah. for, uh, over the other rally uh, people there. So what what did you do for a career uh, to um, be at the point where you could retire for five years and, and have fun? I'm I'm a builder. A builder. Construction. So that's what I uh, did uh, most of my time. And, so uh, building a truck was a natural extension of uh, actually, yeah, building that, that, houses. Yeah, you know, it's, right? it's now, instead of a house uh, in the, in, on the ground, I said yeah. I'm on a house on wheels. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, the good thing is if you don't like your neighbor, you can just start the engine and move, move Unplug on. Unplug and go. <laughs> well, it was a real pleasure meeting you. I hope you Ken, enjoy the rally. And wish you the best yeah. of luck. God bless you and uh, enjoy your journey. And if you come to the States, come see the Motorcycle Museum. Uh, we got a spot there. You can camp out right on the river. It's beautiful. Wonderful. There's a waterfall and you got like 11 acres. You can just hang out right there. I appreciate it, Ken. You'd be more than welcome. Thank you very much. Please come see us, New England Motorcycle Museum. <laughs> no, Thanks, guys. No, normally, she will say, you don't know what you're asking for. <laughs> <laughs> Every, all my kids would get a real kick out of this, you know, <laughs> everybody at work. We, we have a motorcycle restoration shop. Where that's, where, oh, yeah. that's what we do. We restore vintage motorcycles, and uh, we have a race team, and we're here checking out the rally. So oh, yeah. we might come back next year and uh, give it a whirl. So... Thanks, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it and wish you guys the best of luck, both of you. Thank God, you very much. God bless.